Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're going to be making some pendants or earrings, whichever. I'll be using the UV resin by Let's Resin. This is the high viscosity and I'll also be using uh, the clear viscosity. Uh, it's a lighter viscosity. I've got some tape here by J Diction that I've already secured to my countertop uh, with some masking tape here. And I've placed the open back bezels on the tape already. I'm just going to push them down a little bit here. I want to make sure that they are setting firmly on the tape so that the resin does not sift through or seep through onto the backs of the bezels. It's kind of an important step, so make sure when you're doing this you take your time with it. I'll be starting out with the clear um, UV resin. It's a little bit thinner in viscosity and I'll set that with the UV light and then I'll use the higher viscosity when I get ready to uh, when I get ready to set the abalone shells in and do some um, doming. So I have a couple different types of abalone shells I'll be using today. Um, some have a little bit of a green hue, others have a little bit of a gold hue and I'm really going to be sifting through and trying to find the blue and the purple. So I'll start with uh, filling the Filling the open back bezels with a little bit of the clear resin. This is again UV resin, different from epoxy. And I'm putting just enough in here so that when I go to spread it out, it'll leave a, a fine uh, film on the bottom or a fine covering, if you will. I don't want to overfill the trays. And my purpose for doing this, and pardon the hands, but this is kind of intricate work here. Just fold the trays enough so that the second layer, when I go to put the abalone shells down, um, will not um, will not seep through. I don't want them to overflow the edges. Basically, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's hit this with the light for a couple of minutes and let that set. All right, it is time. And this should be set quite nicely. And it is. Sometimes I'll flip this over and I'll do the back side, but don't need to do that right now. So what I have is the first layer of UV resin in, and I'm going to begin to fill each one of the bezels, which now is kind of like a, a tray almost, with the abalone shells. So I have a friend that wants a purple blue one, so that's what I'm going to do here. And on the far left, again, pardon the hands. It's kind of hard to keep them out of the way, especially when you have big hands like me, and I know you've heard me say this many times. So these bezels right now are firm. They're not tacky or sticky where I've done the first layer of resin. And I'm just going to put abalone shells into each one of these. And I will fast forward like I usually do so you don't have to spend your whole day watching me fill these darn things. This can be very intricate work, and sometimes you do have to be very patient with it. And I think the hardest part is picking out the colors that you want of the shells. Sometimes I'll do it in advance, and I'll put it in one of these little plastic um, tray-like things that you see at the top of the screen, and then I can just dump them in but I didn't have enough of the blue and purpley ones. So I have to kind of pick those out as I go. So if you want to save yourself a lot of time, do this part in advance. And what I'm going to do here in a minute is I'm going to drop some more resin in here. I hate when I get it on the tape outside of the bezel because then it wants to stick to the tape. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill these first couple trays. 
Let's do a green one here. I don't usually like to dump them because then they get all over the tape and they stick to the tape and sometimes you have to throw it away. And I'm just going to top this off with a little bit more UV resin. And I'm going to add some to the other open back bezels here now. And again, they're not really open back anymore because I've sealed the backs with a layer of, of resin. So I'm just going to move those around a little bit in those trays. And I'm adding more resin, but I'm being very careful to not overflow the sides. I do want these to have a little bit of a smooth top. And so now I'm using the higher viscosity UV resin. So when I first did the inlay of the bezels, I used just a thinner viscosity. Now that I am kind of doming these in, if you will, I have the thicker viscosity and it just helps it to set a lot better. Of course I'm running out. <laughs> it never fails. I hit this with a little bit of heat so that any bubbles that are there will come out. You want to be careful not to burn your resin. And I'm going to go ahead with this grouping here. These are a little bit more gold in color. But I do still want to add some blues and greens. So again, just got to be kind of picky. And I did put a dab of the thicker viscosity resin in, the, in, these, uh, in these trays just to kind of help them set and not move all over the place. There's many different ways that you can do this. There's no right or wrong way. And this can be a really tedious process. But you wanna, again, as I said, take your time and make sure that you get the right color mix. You don't want your resin to overfill the sides of the bezel. Clean these up a little bit. If you get some resin on the sides, it's all right. You can just take a dotting tool and wipe it off, clean it off. And again, I'm gonna add some of the thicker viscosity, higher viscosity resin onto these now. And I'll add a little bit to these bezels over here. So just kind of working from left to right. Don't have to worry about this setting in advance. It won't set until you hit it with the UV light. I'm gonna get a little crazy and I'm just gonna dump some of this in here. Rather than picking it out one by one, I don't even care if I get it all over the tape at this point. Depends on how picky and meticulous you are and what kind of colors you're trying to pull out of these, these abalone shell trays. This one I'm looking for a little bit more of that goldy look, so I'm not as picky as I was on the first couple where I was really trying to get that blue and the green. Just going to spread these out inside of here. Same here, we're just going to move these around. Try to keep them as flat as possible. It's okay if they protrude a little bit over the top, they're shells. And we'll hit this with the higher viscosity UV resin. And we'll kind of dome them in so they'll have a nice, smooth, as smooth as possible top. Again, to get them 100% smooth is very difficult unless you lay them out one by one. 
meaning lay the abalone shells out one by one. And then you can absolutely flatten them so they stay below the rim of the, of the bezel. The little hearts in the middle are actually below. And I wish I could zoom in more on that for you. But then you'll really see my big hands in the way. So I'm trying to be very meticulous, but still let you see what I'm doing here. I'm just carefully adding more resin. Don't want to overfill these. I can't stress that enough. And I'll go through and I'll just kind of clean up the edges here. I don't want to have UV resin on the metal. I want to keep the bezel clean, as clean as possible. These are actually shaping up very nicely. Let's see if we can get any bubbles out with a lighter. And we'll hit it with the UV light for three to five minutes. All right, let's see what we have. So far, they're looking good. Get some of those out of the way here. That's why I don't like to dump them in. I hate when I get them all over the place. Give them a little tap. They seem to be set pretty good. Now I'm gonna flip them over and do the back side. You could put a mirror down underneath this and tape this to a mirror, and then you more than likely would not have to do this, but I'm gonna do this process anyway. So we'll hit this side for just a couple minutes. All right, it's been a couple minutes. And we are ready to take these off of the off of the uh, tape here. I'm gonna remove my gloves though, because if you get resin on your gloves and then you touch your bezels afterwards, they're gonna be sticky and leave you know marks and they just won't look as pretty and i don't really like to touch them with my fingers either usually i'll re-glove but they felt pretty pretty done to me they're nice and hard so i i'm not gonna leave fingerprints but you know what if i do um you can just easily go over the tops of these and dome them again with a little bit of resin so back looks great This just kind of takes practice, honestly. Nice and flat. Those are gonna turn out real pretty. We got a little more work to do with these, though. We're gonna going to take some gel nail polish and polish the back of these. And that will fill in any gaps that may have occurred because the shells shifted. And it'll give it a nice uh, two-sided effect. All right, so far so good. You can kind of see my fingers through the backs, which is why we're gonna put some extra polish on them and make them glitter. You could leave them as is right now, they're perfect. But again, I want a two-sided um, effect to them. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So look at the lovely green blue one to the second to the left. So I've got the Cat Eye Gel Nail Polish by Ubanku. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Ubanku. And I'm going to use this light blue on the back of this, um, this blue-green one to start. going to polish this right over the back 
being very careful not to get this onto the bezel. So I only want this to cover the UV resin. So you really need a steady hand. And I don't really have a steady hand sometimes. And for those of you that are perfectionists, this will drive you a little bit batty. I've had to learn that, you know, sometimes you can only do your best. I'm just being really careful to not get any on our silver bezel. This is a really nice gel nail polish to work with too. It's got a nice glitter to it. And again, it kind of covers up if there were any gaps in the shells, you won't really see them on the front side. You'll just see the little bit of glitter from the back. And you can fast forward through this if you want. Just gonna touch up a little bit of these areas where I got a little bit of the polish. This is the part where I get really picky. So if you get really bored, <laughs> feel free to go ahead and fast forward. but I want this to be perfect. This is being made for a friend. So I want to make sure that it is absolutely perfect. I think that one's good. Fun thing about working with gel nail polish, this one's a silver I'm going to put on the back of this one. Um, is it won't set again until you hit it with the UV light so you don't have to worry about it drying too quickly and these are the backs of the bezels that you're seeing here the face is down and I'm going to use this pretty silver on the back another nice color to use is um, they have a black kind of sparkly one, but unfortunately I don't have any of that left. I've used all my black, but the silver will look really pretty. And again, I'm just trying to be very meticulous. You'll notice I do have a couple of catchabons on the side here. So these are some pretty catchabons that I put in oval closed back trays and I put a little bit of UV, UV resin into the tray and I set the catchabon in it and I'm going to hit that with some UV light here in a minute to seal that in all right I think that one is about done clean this up I'll hit the backs of these. Clean that up. And I'm going to do some purple on the back of these two, the hearts. These will be earrings for sure. The infinity and the hearts, the infinity with the teardrop, those will be two sets of earrings. The other two I think will be individual pendants. Well, the one blue one for sure. Let's go ahead and hit that with a little bit of heat from the long neck lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead, let's move this in here. I gotta get these under the light. I am gonna go ahead and after I um, set these with the, the resin, I'm gonna come back and put 
some more resin on the backs of these to dome them. All right, I ran out of the other resin, so I'm using some UV resin by J Diction, and I've just put a few teardrops on these. And I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna spread. <clears throat> I'm gonna spread the, uh, the resin out here. Just giving it a nice round doming effect. And these little silicone um, dotting tools are great. Again, I'm keeping the resin off of the metal bezel the best I can. Far one's off screen, sorry about that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I'm gonna put them under the light for about three, three to five minutes just to make sure everything sets. And the other pendants, I'm not too worried about those right at the moment. I can finish those up later. Just wanna get these in here and done. And there we have it. They are all done. They came out very nicely. Not sure if she's going to want the one on the left or the right in my hand. They're both really pretty. And those will be pendants. These will be earrings here. And I'll go ahead and I'll put the jump rings in and the earrings here in a minute. And the hearts, and I'll give you a close up of those in a sack, front and back. Those look really good. I'm very happy with them. If you're a girl or a guy that likes dangly earrings, these are perfect. Catch up ons look good down there. Get my fingers off these and see if I can get a close up for you. You know, the camera is like driving me batty with the blurriness, but. These came out very lovely. Now all I gotta do is throw a chain through them and they're good to go. Nice uh, 30 inch chain and this will dangle prettily, prettily, pretty, prettily, prettily, is that a word? <laughs> Whatever, you get the point. And if you like green, I have some friends that wanted some green pendants, oval pendants. And again, these are closed back trays. So here is the, um, First pendant with the backing. This is another one I did I wanted to share with you. Again, that was a closed back tray, but I filled it with resin, put in the um, put in the abalone shells, and it came out beautifully. Sorry for the camera here. So this is the back of the purple. Woo back of the the purple back of the earring after I attach the jump ring and the pierced earring part and here's the set together very lovely so that's it for the day ladies and gentlemen um, thank you for joining me please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I always appreciate those thumbs up also would love your feedback um, I'm working with a new uh, software and I've had a little bit of struggles with this today but hopefully it's not too distracting so until I see you again the next time have a great afternoon or evening whatever it is wherever you are and I will see you again the next time